Okay, I got a SNS motor here. I got a fix here. It's got a. Oh, it keeps blowing the rear head gasket. It's got a bad stud back here, I think. So this bolt here keeps loosening up. Doesn't get tight anymore. And uh, it keeps blowing the head gasket. So this has been worked. Uh, it's been off three times, I think, by the other shop that worked on this thing. It's supposed to have been repaired down here, so I have no idea what they did down here to repair it. So I'm going to have to tear it apart, see how bad that hole is, and then see if I can fix it or not fix it easily. You can always fix it up by welding up, but I don't want to do all that work. But So anyway, that's the plan. Got to tear this one off, see what's going on, and I got to check to see if these torque down correctly. So I got to pull this box off to get access to the bolts that are hidden up under here. See if these will pull torque. If these are pulling torque good, then I'm, I'm leaving them alone. And I'll pull that. So that's the game plan. Find out what happened. It's always something that happens. All right, so we got a big basket for the big parts. We got a small basket for the small stuff. That's how you clean stuff. You have a 12 point socket for doing your head torque. And you even gave me a nice clean rag. Look at that. All right, let's see what we got to work with here. First thing I do is get the park plugs out, I guess. Makes the motor a lot easier to turn over when the plugs are out. So I'm not even sure how big this motor is. This one I think is out of a Swift bike running nice and lean look at that yeah nice and black sure they got the carburation set really good on this one timing's probably just as bad it's usually why things are broken all right might as well just get the whole carburetor out of the way as quickly as possible usually works best You can work around all these parts and fight it, or you can just take them apart and get the things out of the way and you don't have to worry about them. Oh, it says 113 on there. Maybe it's 113. Feels like it's got gravel under the damn thing. Alright. Supposed to be Allen bolts in here. They sure don't look like there's Allen's left in there. It looks like they're well stripped out. Fine. Just I give it sharp jerks to pop the bolts free. You can actually get a more shock load and loosen something easier than if you just straight pull on it. Alright, it'll come off now. Pull it back in play two, I guess. At least you got them tight. See that jerking action again. Thing do. 
Well, this has electronic compression releases on it. What is this here? That's just jammed in there. That's the fuel line. Wonderful. Nope, not big enough. have a Loctite on these. These are not unscrewing very quickly. This one goes out easy. Cleaner. Doesn't move, that's good. All right. And carbonator out of the way. You can even puke gas anywhere, that's good. Right. Sand coming off this thing. The intake manifold loosened up. Factory wrench for that. Oh, wonderful. That was all stripped out over there. And that was tighter than hell. Great. That makes it fun to get apart. Here's some custom wrenches I've made up over the years for doing these. Now these are very brittle, so you see how they break. So when they break, they look like this one. This is not made for this side, it's made for the other side, but it goes in there for a little ways. So you stick the Allen in there and then you take a little wrench here and see if it'll break the wrench. Well, it breaks the bolt free. Oh, that is tight. That's over torqued. This wrench is made for this side, see? That one came off. Definitely a little over torqued. <clears throat> well, these don't have to come all the way out, but they need to come out about halfway out. 
or about a quarter inch. Get you some work down here or not. Yeah, kind of. There you go. Move it back over here. Regular wrench on this, maybe. There we go. That sudden pop pops it. And this bolt has to come out all the way here. See if we can get this one to come free. This is the one that's kind of screwed up. Yeah, I won't even go in the hole. Who knows what the hell they got in here for a thread? So obviously it's pretty screwy. It looks like it's got a bunch of crap in the hole, maybe. maybe. That's why it doesn't work. It's almost like this symmetric wrench I'm trying to use. Yep, says quarter inch on it. It's not metric. All right. Well, yeah. it'll come off with the head, I guess. I can't get it apart. It's not gonna keep it from coming apart. That's for sure. Okay, now it's just a matter of pulling the rocker box. So we got a bunch of uh, quarter inch Allen's here. Cast rocker boxes. Now these rubbers, as long as you don't clean them with any chemical, you can reuse them usually if you can get them out. So just don't, you can wipe them off, but don't clean them. So any kind of chemical you put on them will destroy them. So just leave them over there. All right, so now we just pop these off. We get some center O-rings here to get out too. One of those. Two. So I 
these are cast boxes up in here. Cast box, they have all this casting all the way through here. Billet box, they just have billet stands right here, and that's it. They don't have this. This piece is part of the box, not part of the stand itself. So we got Allen's here, we got bolts here. Should be Allen's all the way around, I thought. But these are cast, so who knows what they're doing. Oh, they got nice silicone all over the valve spring retainer. That's always nice. Guess that's how they don't get the heads mixed up. They color code it. Sounds like a good plan, huh? Some reason they got a ceiling washer underneath the regular washer. It's inside the damn loader. I need a ceiling washer for. <laughs> guess that's an extra, extra cost item. I guess. No washer. Nope, no washer. The extra washers and no washers. There's another ceiling washer. You don't need to be in there. I guess they figured that's where they belonged. They had extra ones. bring up a little bit of time because it's under spring tension right now possibly I'm not sure if you just undo a little bit of time it kind of comes up slowly a lot of luck underneath yep, I don't think there's any pressure on those this must be the two that are down a lot of luck on that bolt Smell it, can't see it. Definitely know it's there though. Okay. Just leave that, I guess. Alright, so we can torque that down and see if it's tight. Those bolts are good. That's when we already know it's bad. See it coming up a little bit. Guess it's all the way up now. Must have those uh, hydrosolid style lifters, or limited HTT, whatever they call them.
Okay, that one's out. Okay. Push your olds. If you mark them, you don't have to readjust them, right? You think I'm going to not adjust the push when I put it back in? <laughs> You're dreaming. So they don't matter. Okay. Let me go see what else is wrong. All right, let me get my torque wrench. I'll be back.